And I'm looking at this Cowboys team. Defensively, they did play well. Offensively, they look shaky. I think a lot of teams defensively are playing well against the Cowboys. All right, I, can I push Cowboys. it forward to the game of the week? Josh Allen and the Bills face off against Lamar Jackson sure. and the Ravens this Sunday. The Bills are coming off dominating the Jags 47 to 10, Absolute while the Ravens right. got their first win at Jerry's World, beating Dallas 28 to 25. Stephen A., which is more surprising? Is it the Bills 3 and 0 record or the Ravens 1 and 2? For me, it's the Ravens 1 and 2. I know that a lot of people didn't expect much from the Bills. I was one of those people. But you do have Josh Allen that's the start of the season. And just because you started this way doesn't mean you're going to finish this way. I don't believe that anybody believed that the Ravens would start out 0 and 2, that they'd be 1 and 2, but you're up 28 to 6 and you got to hold on because the Dallas Cowboys nearly came back and beat you mm -hmm. before you beat them 28 25. I don't believe that we expected that from a team that was in the AFC Championship game that has Lamar Jackson, that acquired Derrick Henry in the offseason, et cetera. I think you expected more from them. Now, obviously, the defensive coordinator is gone. You've got somebody new there. McDonald's is in Seattle. I get all of that. You still got John Harbaugh. And I I know he lost some other assistants as well, and that might be a cause for, you know, for, for concern. I just expected more from the Baltimore Ravens than I have seen. I expected them to cement themselves as the number one challenger to supremacy by the Kansas City Chiefs, and that is not what I have seen thus far from this team. That has surprised me. Would you like to go? It's the Bills. The Bills are 3-0. and They're an absolute wagon. I, it was... First of all, since they fell down 17-3 in the first half against the Cardinals game one, they've outscored their opponents 109-31. to This is the NFL. Mm -hmm. They're beating the absolute tar Breaks out of teams. Off, people. Number two, they traded away a wide receiver that was the one, the 50% the of the best duo in football for the last, I think, four or five years statistically mm -hmm. between Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. Could you imagine what some teams would look like if they had traded away their number, number one receiver like that? Could you imagine with Tua if he's playing in that offense without Tyreek or if, if the Eagles got rid of an A.J. Brown or the Vikings got rid of a Justin yeah. Jefferson? They wouldn't look like this. Two years ago, they had no more defense in football. Five starters, basically half of the defense is gone from that team, and they've given up 31 points after, since that 17-3 deficit against Arizona. They've got... Um, sixth round corner, sixth round safety, fifth round linebacker. I mean, these guys that they're just taking and plugging in, they're playing unbelievable defense. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that they're doing that and given, and I've, I know this on record, the expectation was this was going to be the year they took the step back and they would get the Stefan Diggs contract off the books and then next year was the year that they were going to make a run. Yeah. They look like the best offense in football right now, and they look like one of the best defenses in football. Who's going to stop them? So here's why you're wrong. Um, because we have talked about Josh Allen being, if not the second best, the third best quarterback in the NFL. Right. There's also that been he, a lot of other that, stuff said about Josh Allen. We're not going to do that because everybody loves Josh Allen. Relax. Relax. We know he's a stud. We know he's a stud. Not don't, don't, like we don't, don't know that. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. When you have a guy like Josh Allen, a lot, again, I personally felt like the Bills would be a lot better than people expected. Losing Stephon Diggs, I felt like would be addition by subtraction. And we're seeing that now. Um, to me, it is the Ravens because when I, the last time I saw the Ravens in the AFC title game, it wasn't the Chiefs that beat the Ravens. It was the Ravens who beat the Ravens. They forgot their entire identity. Zay Flowers in the fumble. Lamar Jackson forgetting his superpower. Then you have a season in which an offseason where we praise them for getting Derrick Henry. And you're like, okay, luxury item. But I like it because they're making this an even bigger strength. And what we've seen through three games is sort of how do we use Derrick? In what way are we using Derrick? Are we using Derrick enough? Um, Talk about the law. I understand they lost the defensive coordinator. They lost Denard Wilson, their secondary coach. That is a huge, huge loss. Yeah. But still, having Lamar Jackson, one of the best, most dynamic playmakers in the NFL, they should not. They should not look like this. The amount of late game leads that they've blown, it should not be happening because that's about discipline. That's about focus. That's about guys being where they're supposed to be and do their job. And when I look at the Ravens, a team where the standard is get to a Super Bowl, that is not at, uh, that's not at all where they should be at one and two. One and two sorry. I get where you're coming from with Josh Allen. 
All right, I get where you come from with the Bills, and I understand you lose Stephon Diggs, and I get that. But when we looked at them, we saw their injuries. Right. We also saw acrimony because we looked at him and Stephon Diggs. We knew Stephon Diggs wasn't happy. I came on first take. I reported he wanted out you of there. You were 100%. He out. wanted out of there, and it ended up happening, all right? So now we got to take into account what we see from Josh Allen since. He's happy. Number one in passer rating. Number one in QBR. Number one in total touchdowns, all right? Tied for number one with zero interceptions, okay? And by the way, second in completion percentage to rookie Jaden Daniels, all right, with 75% completion. Mm -hmm. Josh Allen is a stud, which yeah. we've all known. We're looking at Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens collectively, yeah. and nobody expected them to be struggling the way that they're struggling right now. And then on top of all of that, when you bring up Buffalo, yeah, you are going against Tua, and we know how Tua performs against them. This is before he was concussed. Sure. Okay? And then Jacksonville. You need me to get started in Jacksonville? We talk about how Mike McCarthy might not last. We know that Doug Peterson might not last. They, it's bad in Jacksonville. They got to go to it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad in Jacksonville. It's well, very, very just bad. just got, got lit up. Yeah. It's, yeah. Ve it's very, very how bad. How good is Houston? How, oh, Houston? Yeah. Houston's oh, very fantastic. good. They just met Brian Flores. That's all. But that's a tough game for Jacksonville. Tough game for Jacksonville. Yeah. Right? Everyone's a tough game for Jacksonville. Tough game for Jacksonville. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean tough game for Jacksonville? I mean, Jacksonville might not. I don't know how many games they're going to win this year based on what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. They would. I think they've lost eight in a row. And I used to think. And I and I used to think their yeah, coach. Yeah. I, I thought used, the Ravens. Would I used them. to think Doug would sit up there and 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 just cover in his mouth. You notice what's happened? He's covering his mouth normally. They're covering their mouth to cut to call the plays and stuff like that. No, now he's covering his face. <laughs> okay, let's now go. He's covering his face. You he only so wants to right. see. <laughs> That's how there. bad it is okay. in Jacksonville. Okay, okay. So you guys are over Josh Allen's turnovers. No. Well, he hasn't committed any. But we're we're over that. No, no. Okay, we gotta go, Dan.